such a steep agroforestry system, what's more efficient? On contour, off contour, larger accesses on contour is like minor access off contour. Yeah. That feels cool. For the management, I feel, yeah, like up down, it's, it's kind of like the best. And I was really skeptical, but I'm pretty convinced that up and down the slope is more comfortable for working. Which is still weird to say sometimes out loud. It's like, really? Is it? But my experience doing it, yeah, it's easier. We're on a really steep slope for this agroforestry system. Really interesting, high diversity value of fruits in here. Really steep, and so, so far they've worked on contour, but finding some challenges with the management. So we're brainstorming some ideas around how that might want to change on this new slope, which they're just in the process of clearing now. Does that want to be mostly off contour, on contour? Really, really cool to see. Lots of mosquitoes here. Send this drone up. This is really exciting. We are here with Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, bro. You're managing some, what I can see so far is some really cool centropic agroforestry. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna tell us about it? Yeah, of course. Uh, we have implemented this system like se September uh, 2022, like almost, what is 2023? Two years? No, less, one year and five months. Yeah, one year, five months, kind of like. A year and five months months and yeah we plant this system that is like almost 1,000 square meters it, it, it has like eight rows that, it, that are in contour because it's quite and steep here yeah it's like 45 degrees steep in some places it's even more than 45 degrees so it's very steep um, and yeah what we did here is space the rows every three meters that's kind of like the idea but in some where it's very steep they get more close so it's kind of like a, it's not 100% parallel like in key line. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here I mean it's focused on on fruit production, like mainly uh, a lot of cacao, a lot of uh, citrus. We have a lot of breadfruit coming, and we had also a lot of focus on the peach palm for the the hair palm yeah. and also the fruit. So we have very dense line for what we call palmito here, hair hair palm. Yeah. And, and yeah, we also plant like many uh, Asian fruit trees like durian, sempedak, jackfruit, uh, like very weird varieties for say, and a lot of support species. Like mostly we, we plant a lot of these, uh, we call here gallinazo or fern tree, that it's like our service tree. Also with this other one that is poro, that is a native tree, it's leguminose yep. that we plant by stick. And, and yeah, we all we just managed like this week all these bushes that are the nacedero, that they are like what retain the terrace of the contour lines. So we you see all these sticks they are planted like every 50 centimeters. We got like a, a very good retention and production of biomass. And also with it, we had the pineapples like under the nacedero, like every 50 centimeters, as you can see. So it's like what retains the terrace, like the structure. And, and yeah, like up, up here, we got this Mombasa grass that, that we plant by seed, that we are, we are now getting into cover the, the interrow, that it has been a challenge mainly to weed, do weeding here, it's, it's a big challenge because there's no that much access so our main goal has been covering the inter row and and yeah eventually have this all full of organic material and there were established trees when you came in here it wasn't just a bare slope but there were no trees here yeah th there was like uh probably like a five-year-old jungle like in recover so there was some organic material like a lot of a lot of wood that that has been uh, making the terraces you can see the the wood of the tree that was here uh, before we, we cut over everything and yeah we start planting from zero like it was everything so cut everything you didn't leave any shade we just leave a couple trees this big laurel and this one but we cut everything we, we don't leave 
mostly. I mean, when I get contract to make the design, they already make this cleaning, so I don't have any intervention before. Yeah. But normally we try to always make as much as disturbance as possible yeah. to get more sun. And I, I feel sometimes it's the plants grow better when yeah. they got like this uh, growth impulse through, through the sun. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a little bit of what we have been doing. And, and yeah, I mean, we have like a, a subdivision of the rows in terms of the strats. Uh, we got like low and high in one, one line and medium and, and emerging in other ones. Yeah. So that's kind of like the, the idea of our design. Yeah. And at the, three meter spacings, you wouldn't want to mix everything together. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, here it's, it's quite interesting the thing of like putting the medium here, but through the slope, it's getting kind of like in the size of the low of this upper line. Yeah. This uh, in terms of the the size yeah. because of the slope, right? So it's quite interesting. I mean, I'm seeing like how it's gonna be the management of these the stratas and and the canopy of the of each tree yeah. because it's I mean it, it's quite slow, but but yeah, I mean we're we're getting there. It has been like very all these trees growing from seed all the the fern trees so they they we we make some as you can see there some apical prunings the last year i don't normally see those trees pruned like that it's interesting yeah this is very common in brazil to use those ones and they they resprout in the dry season as you can see all that is the resprout of the dry so yeah now when that is starting to rain they will get like huge yeah. And, and yeah so we also want to experiment like in the tree service trees that we plant by stick to get some like uh, climbing vines probably vanilla will try even it's too kind of like too shaved we will kind of like try that uh, and yeah like plant a lot of uh, also jackfruit from seed like this one from seed you can see one year and a half how they get like three meters or more yeah so they will be the replacement of service plants from the fern tree. Right, uh, for biomass. Yeah, because they are more abundant. Uh, so it, it's, that was kind of like the logic to have like these intermediate species providing like shade and biomass. And then they will be like the ones that will be for 20, 25 years giving biomass. Yeah, wow. With the jackfruit and this other nasty one that is the Mayan nut. The Mayan nut, so yes. It, it's, it's growing well. Uh, and yeah, I mean here the, the main the main focus is the, the citrus, the kumquat and the breadfruit that you can see that they're kind of like very spaces like every uh, 12 meters like that one is the other line of, of this same uh, consortium of str medium strata with emerging. Okay, so yeah. th you're saying three meters between the tree lines but 12 meters between when six. it's citrus and ohoche again. Oh, six meters between tree yes. lines. Yeah. Like this line under here, you yeah. see the cacao is, that, is a low, yeah. And, and we got the the high is the bass. those ones, right? And that one. And, and this and medium and emergent is the citrus and the ohoche. Citrus ohoche and emer emergent is is has some diversity ohoche and breadfruit, yeah. And caoba that is hardwood, yeah. Uh, and yeah, we we got like this. But then you're saying 12 meters to the next line that's like this. Yeah, in the same line you got the the emergent every 12. Oh, that okay. Yeah, in the same gotcha. line. I yeah. see, I see. But in, in between lines, six. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I mean, also this, uh, this peach palm, it's emergent, but it's kind of like, it's quite interesting. It's kind of like the, the succession of the banana, for se, because it, it gives a lot of biomass and it, it reproduces with giving like sprouts in the sides, you know? Yeah. Kind of like the banana. Yeah. So it will be kind of like the succession for giving a lot of biomass too and hair palm by the pruning yeah so it's spiky quite interesting and yeah here the mombasa is needing a lot of management you yeah. can see it's getting huge even the, it was dry season yeah it, it, well, it's a wet site still yeah so so yeah i mean it has been pretty n good for me to s experiment with working in control line it has been kind of like the the most uh, the area with most steep st uh, or yeah, how, how is it? The with most slope, slope. Yep. yeah, steepest slope that I have worked with. So it has been very nice experiment and to feel how it is to manage here. And, and yeah, like especially 
like wheeling up there it's almost impossible you gotta go over there and there is a steep so walking there it's it's not that easy right so what i what i will do in the other area probably if i make contour line it's making each row more closer so you can we do weeding while being step here so you, right. don't, you don't gotta go over in the inter row yeah. because it's, it's it's all the soil come down so it's kind of like that uh, but it's very useful to have this kind of like it's kind of like a little swale per se yeah that it's also like a sidewalk for, for give the management and it'll just collect organic material and build up collect organic material and, and yeah the only thing that i I feel that oh, it's a, like a tendency is like all the soil tend to fall over you know like this this vertical cut that we make when we make the soils is what I feel that is kind of like not not that much like the best for plants to grow I don't, I don't know if I express like this border it's kind of like a, a vertical wall that I, I, I feel it's it's difficult to retain the soil I mean, we even plant the betty bear and others, but it, it fall over, you know? So that's kind of like, I, I feel the tendency of nature is, is, is to be like lineal, the floor, you know? It, there's not, not, not that much natural to have like vertical cuts in, in the soil, unless it's like just like soil uh, so falling over. To doing this again, you would give it a slope? Yeah, probably less. Uh, as less we cut, we make this vertical cut, I think as less we, we tend to make the erosion here. Because also the more surface area you have for the water to go in, it'll slow and seep into the soil, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, the more contact it can have with the soil, if it's sloped, then it can infiltrate more versus like just going off the edge. Yeah. Yeah, but we're, we're still thinking how to work in this second plot if we were gonna make it control like this th that I like it's, w it's very easy to manage like to organize the material the only thing is like yeah this is difficult to put organic material in these yeah. borders because it fall over it tends to fall yeah. so it's the only thing that I, I I'm still like uh, feeling if, if, if it might be like the, the best way like in Brazil, they normally they don't do contour. There's some projects that they do, but they do the other side, and yeah. they they don't make like these swales, you know. And so there's an area that we just walked through. We'll show that towards the end. Before we got here, it's been recently cleared to do new agroforestry, and you're considering maybe going down the slope as a potential. Just research, collecting data, seeing what works well for the situation, um, rather than just doing another set on contour. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the idea to experiment and research. Yeah, the research in terms of what's more efficient yeah. for the management and more uh, more easy because that's the main thing. The management is like if you make it more easy, uh, it's Cause, better. Because how big is this area? Around? This is almost like one thousand square meters. It's okay. not that big, like yeah. one tenth of of an hectare. Yeah. But yeah, now like this Mombasa is like really really good for for management yeah uh, and yeah i mean like I, I can show a little bit how we do it we we normally cut like lower to up like this and we tend to sometimes to uh, accumulate in the main in in the same grass sometimes to put it here it's kind of like this is the type of management we ha we got another another type of grass before that didn't produce that much biomass as this one uh, but yeah, the, the goal is to someday be able to cover it up all these all these lines with a, a thick amount of mulch. So we're we're in the process, and yeah, what what gives more biomass is the trees more than the grasses. I mean, grasses help a lot, but the main goal is have biomass from trees. Yeah, woody organic and, material. And this this guy for us is like the champion of biomass because you can cut it like for sure every two meters and it, 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 it drops like roots lateral kind of like a mangrove so mm. it's very good for retain like superficially organic material and, and yeah I like a lot the nacedero yeah yeah plant by stick so yeah I mean it's, it's a little bit of what we have here uh, we can walk a little bit more well no I, I think this has been a really great overview of kind of what what you've got going on here mm -hmm. obviously this is a design that you've implemented and 
you've got people that you're helping to manage do this work or this is just you managing in this in this area yeah yeah there is also the, the, the farm team there's yeah. like three guys they also help yeah but mostly me me and Kim we we give a lot of love in this place to to make it uh, yeah as much abundant and, and productive as possible wow well where can people go to find more about your work and what you do Sorry? Where can people go to find out more about like the work uh, that you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can follow uh, our social media, Whiteville. Here in my, my t-shirt, there's our uh, organization focus on uh, agroforestry education. Uh, and yeah, like, there, uh, we, we share a lot of content. Also, we organize workshops and sometimes like friendship programs, stuff like that. So yeah, cool. so, yeah that's kind of like our, our mission here yeah. in, in Mexico and Central America. Wow, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jorge. Mm -hmm. Huge pleasure to, to meet you and see yeah. the beautiful work that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice it's a to meet you honor. too. Thanks for coming. Yeah, documenting no. a little bit. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, like this is what I enjoy doing. I enjoy seeing the different flavors of how people like interpret and then apply agroforestry. Yeah, and see what they're like. You know, what specific things are you like working with, and what are the things you're like? Is that cutting edge for you? Mm -hmm. So respect. Yeah, I also love a lot your videos. Thanks for doing that work. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to get out there, hey. <laughs> the information just has to get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I, I love watching your, your videos or how you, you share a lot of passion. Thanks yeah. for it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy when you're passionate. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, I We'll send the drone too. up and we'll, um, is it, if that's cool, we'll see what we can see here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then maybe we go and see the other area that you're kind of like preparing to maybe do some agroforestry yeah. in the future. Yeah, for sure. Cool. The general access paths to walk on, like when you just need to move through the system, but then you can also go up and down, mm -hmm. like a like a, a full yeah, grid. Yeah, that's something what we are thinking there, like have like uh, access pads for take out the harvest with a wheelbarrow probably uh -huh. to cross, probably like in zigzag, uh -huh. not okay. like completely contour, if not more like with a, uh, some degree, yeah. but more for take out the harvest because I see very useful the, the contour for that kind of, uh, yeah, like operation. But nice. for the management, I feel, yeah, like up down, it's, it's kind of like the best. Would you consider doing like a major access on contour and then minor access in between? Kind of like... I know in, in New Zealand when they have banana plantations, they just do like... Like eight meters between the large rows. Mm -hmm. So you can like always kind of like be close enough to the, at the main access and yeah. then just do like in between those like... A bunch of for, for management mm -hmm. con like you know perpendicular to contour I don't know. yeah yeah that's a good idea it's kind of oh, like the grid thing but like a little more differentiation between mm -hmm. like certain paths like this this is so nice for access yeah like just to be able to walk through it maybe you're not even gonna like you're not coming in to do heavy work but you want to be able to move through see what's going on and you like it's nice to be able to walk yeah, on it's contour super, super nice having this yeah I, li I like the idea of calling it like a principal access versus secondary access things like that and think about their use but I'm I'm pretty convinced, and I was really skeptical. But I'm pretty convinced that up and down the slope is more comfortable for working, which is still weird to say sometimes out loud. It's like really is it? But my experience doing it, yeah, it's easier because this, is, this is such an awkward space to work in, and you're like all little, you end up all tilted over. This looks cool. Fascinating conversation and sight to see such a steep agroforestry system on contour playing with the idea of management what's more efficient for on contour off contour larger accesses on contour is like minor access off contour yeah that feels cool anybody has a steep project they want let's go i want flat projects you have flat projects <laughs> this is super cool hopefully you're getting some value out of this that's why we're going to Florida, Byron. Florida's flat. <laughs> Florida is flat. Anybody in Florida want some want some exciting things happening? It's where we'll be. Before he was cutting up this tree, so there's, there's no problem. A notch in the tree. He will. He, will, yeah. I mean, he, won't he said fall it's not going to fall on us. Oh, good. That's kind of lovely. I, know. I was like, hmm. Do we move?